Hello guys. Um, I don't know if I like that angle. Maybe it's better than this. Hey guys. So today we're talking all about productivity and how to be able to mark things off your list. And it's super exciting because I'm all about productivity. I'm not so great about it, but I'm passionate about it. So we're getting there. Anyway, now it's 12 p.m., right? I don't know if you can see, it's 12, 18. And I'm almost done with a lot of the things that I wanted to do today. And I think now that Fox is about four plus months, I'm starting to get like a whole routine and actually be able to get things done throughout the day and throughout the week. So I'm pretty confident that I can give you some really good tips on how to be productive as a mom, as a stay-at-home mom. And maybe sharing my two cents will help some of you guys. So I'm all about that because I'm pretty passionate about being productive as I mentioned before. So it bothers me this thing. So I have a list of some things that really help me to stay productive and being able to get things down around the house um, with work, with everything that I need to do basically. And I'm going to start with the first thing, which is basically to create to-do lists. So if you know me, I'm a hard believer in bullet journaling and it's basically a method of writing all of your tasks, all of your feelings, everything that you want to track in one place, which is basically your bullet journal. And this is where I write all my to-do lists and I usually write my to-do list for the day the day before so yesterday night before I went to sleep I created a to-do list for today and I make sure I have three most important things that I want to focus on and I usually include one thing that is pretty much self-care kind of thing so today it was my hair yesterday it was a mask and every day I have something that I consider top priority because if I'm not gonna take care of myself I'm not gonna be able to take care of anyone else um, so I really truly believe that you need to take care of yourself first so put it really high up in your priority so Fox is like is he awake? I'm not sure if he needs my help I just put him down I think I might need to go up and help him a little bit and I'll be back in a second oh, I can't wait for him to learn how to put the passy back in his mouth I mean like it's gonna make my life so much easier so basically we're talking about lists so I would recommend you to think of the most important three things that you need to do. So for me today, for example, it was doing my hair because it takes time. The second thing on my list was the bigger task. I always have like a big task. So today it was working on the nursery. And the third thing I need to do today besides filming this video is actually edit another video that I filmed couple of days ago so these are the main three things that I need to do today and I always add a few more things from the master list like from the weekly list that I do as well whenever I have time I just put a few more things um, each day and get things done hopefully by the end of the week so the next thing on my list is figuring out tasks that you can do with your baby and without your baby so basically tasks that you can do when they're asleep or when they're awake so for example i wouldn't um, work on the house when he's asleep because it makes some noise i'm not gonna do um vacuuming while he's asleep because it's probably gonna wake him up and i don't want that definitely don't want that so for the time that he's asleep i usually work on my computer i usually do like emails or editing Editing. so now after like four months of having a baby I kind of know which things I need to do when so yeah just figure out your task what you can do on which time and that will be way easier for you to get things done because you'll be more productive um, with the things that you're doing at the time that you're doing them if it makes any sense the third thing I want to talk about is whenever they are awake and you need to do something for example make yourself something to eat or I don't know answer a phone call that you need a little bit more focus on bouncer which is right here next to me by the way couldn't live without the bouncer and also a carrier so basically a bouncer and a carrier are two amazing things that give you few minutes of peace or maybe sometimes more than that so yeah that's just another way of entertaining them while doing and getting your things done the fourth tip I want to give you guys is to learn how to be flexible you saw me before starting to talk and then Fox woke up I needed to stop for a second go and help him to fall back asleep and I think basically as parents you need to really understand that it's not just up to you um, it's not you living your life by yourself anymore, which is hard to adjust because, you know, 
it's a huge huge shift on your life but when you really understand that you know it is what it is and just try to be flexible with the time that you have and with the time that you don't have then you'll be able to forgive yourself about things that you can't get done and it's fine even if you won't be able to get anything done that day that's also fine because taking care of a baby it's a huge task by itself so you pretty much mark the most important thing off your list without even like putting it off the list because it's just there all the time but it is a huge task it is a huge thing that you need to do so give yourself some grace forgive yourself if you can't get things done and be more flexible that's like really really important to understand and comprehend and just implement to your life the last thing i want to talk about which i kind of touched on uh, early on is putting your self-care and uh, mental health in the top priority because we only have like you know x amount of energy that we can give to others and spend on our activities or house activities or whatever it is that we need to do and if you're not going to take care of yourself you won't be able to give to others that's what i believe for me to get those little things done for myself and have this like quiet time for myself it's really really helpful and i get to refill my cup and be able to give back to my husband to my son obviously and to the house that will make everything else flow better and you'll be way more productive in the other things that you're going to do so i think that's everything that i wanted to touch upon and now when he's still asleep i'm gonna work on my computer because it's the time that i have to edit i'm gonna do that and while i do that i want to talk about today's sponsor share skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people just like ourselves explore new skills deepen existing passion and get lost in creativity there are so many interesting classes about art, illustration, photography, and even lifestyle. But in the past few weeks, I was very curious about the productivity ones. And I took a few already, but last week I took another great one by Kevin Sisker. This one was called Productivity Today, Managing Attention in the Digital Age. Learn with Todoist. And basically, it's talking about being focused on the time that you have to fulfill a task. Because at this point, I feel like I've already mastered the time management aspect of productivity but whenever I do have time to sit down and fulfill the task that I need to do at a specific time I'm not always concentrated and I do have um, a lot of distractions that class really taught me how to minimize those distractions and be more focused and more productive at the time that I'm actually working so it's a great class, I highly recommend. And they have so many other classes as well about cooking and everything that you're curious about. Another thing I really like about Skillshare is that it's curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads. And they're always launching new premium classes so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. And it's also less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. So you can check out the link down in the description box if you're interested. The first 1,000 people to use my link down in the description box will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium. And I definitely recommend you trying it out. And yeah, that's about it. Organizing the room task is pretty much done. On to the next one.
So it's almost five. I'm gonna put the camera here because I'm watching over Fox. We're doing now the last nap of the day. I'm so tired, my shirt is all crinkly and you know what? That's perfect because all that it means is that we had a perfectly productive day. I was able to do so much today, which I'm so, so happy about. Not every day is that productive for me. To be honest, making this video kind of pushed me and motivated me to get more things done than usual. But anyway, I hope I was able to share some really good tips that will help you mamas to make things done during the day and really be able to make time for everything and especially for yourself and i think that's it also don't forget to ask for help because right now leo will be back and i'm going to ask him to help me and it's going to be amazing we need help it's fine it's not a bad thing to ask for help i just wanted to wrap it up with that anyway i hope you enjoyed this video and find it useful if you like it please hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel i would love to see you again in the future and also don't forget to check out the link of skillshare down in the description box and i think that's it i'm going to see you again in my next video Bye! <laughs> Is Daddy home? Is Daddy home? And Suki got scared. Don't get it.